What's up everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. So today's video is going to be a topic that I've gotten many, many questions on. And that is how did I do the pull chain modification for my train horn? So for those of you that might not know, I actually have a horn blasters train horn mounted on my truck. I am actually running the conductor series 244K nightmare edition. And I'll show you that in a second. But this is a very simple modification. And if you're not sure how to wire up a train horn, just go check out one of my videos and I'll explain how to do so. But today's video is more about how did I do the pull chain modification for activating the horn. So let's jump in and let me show you what I did. Okay, so there's my truck. Go out here and show you here. There is my horn blasters train horn. Now again, that is the Conductor Series 244K Nightmare Edition with the spare tire delete bracket. And instead of using the spare tire pull cable, I just mounted mine right to the frame underneath. That way it's more stable and secure. So there's my train horn. Let's come over here and show you how to do this. Let's hop in here real quick. That way I can get out of the snow for a minute. Okay, so here's my train horn pull chain right here. Okay, next. All you gotta do is take a small screwdriver and then shove it in this little crevice here and then pop out these tabs, okay? That will expose your two bolts that hold your pillar cover on. Then, just take a small socket. I tend to just grab a, what is this, a 10 millimeter. I'm not exactly even sure what size bolts these are off the top of my head, but a 10 millimeter works for me. Just get and shove it in there and start twisting out your bolts, okay? So I'm gonna do that right now. There you go. So you just got a little bolt like that, and one up here. Okay, all right, I got the two bolts out. This just pops off with your pressure clips and pulls out. All right, so there it is. So it's gonna be hard to really see the switch right here without taking this off, because you pretty much have to pull down your headliner pull it down a little bit and I don't want to have to really get into that today. So to do this, all you really have to do is the lead wire that comes from your battery that goes straight to your solenoid on your train horn. All I did was the lead wire from the battery I have running up here to my pull switch. Then from the pull switch, I have it going down to the solenoid. So all I did was splice in a momentary pull switch in between the line going from the battery to the solenoid. Then the back chain here is, I have a hole drilled through the headliner and then right up like right here, I have this end of it bolted to the main pillar. So that way this one's not going anywhere. This side here, it goes right behind that liner with a little tiny wire tying this chain link to the pull switch which sends power to the solenoid, which actually will activate your horns. And then right here, there's my on off switch for my compressor. And this way I don't always have the compressor running. I can actually just only turn it on when I feel like I need to get more air back there. But this is how I did the, the pull chain modification. It's very simple and easy. Now I will say this, the hardest part of all this is finding a pull switch, okay? Now, this particular one here, I have not been able to find this one online anywhere. I don't know if they're out of stock or they just stopped selling it. I don't know. But I did find a couple other momentary pull switches that are almost identical to this. And I'll post a picture right here. Basically, it's the same thing. You just have to mount it to your pillar arm here, wire in your leads to it, and then take whatever rope or pull string or whatever you want to use mount one end stationary to the pillar, but tie this end to the pull switch. That way when you pull on it, it tugs on the pull switch, activates your horn. But I will post a link in the description of a pull switch that you could potentially use. But that's it. So a very simple modification. Again, I didn't want to take the headliner down because you have to unbolt your visor and you got to rip it down and you got to tuck it all back. That's more of a pain in the butt. I didn't want to do that, but I really just wanted to take the pillar cover off just to show you that I've wired up a pull switch right here that's connected to the chain pull. So it's that simple. And what I did was, as you can see right 
there. Okay, I have a, the lead wire going through the firewall. It goes right up here, behind here, up here, and ties in right there. Right there. So I have the lead wire coming from the battery up to the pull switch, out of the pull switch, back down, and then underneath to the back solenoid. And then I just mounted the pull switch, mount one side of your chain to the pull switch, mount the other side of the chain to your pillar frame, and you're good to go. So that's basically how you put in a pull chain for a train horn. Okay, everybody, that's it. Hope you liked this video. I hope this video helped you out. So go ahead and do me a favor, like this video, hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to get back to you as soon as I get a chance. And uh, also, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps me out because it shows me that you like what I do and then I'll continue to keep pushing more content out there for you. But I just wanted to say thank you to all of you. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So again, hope you like this video and as always, See you in the next video.